incoming! <laughs> Look at this monstrosity of a tennis bag. I have been going to some professional tennis tournaments recently and I always see these players with these humongous tennis bags and they're stuffed to the brim. And I'm like, what could there possibly be in their tennis bags? What's in there? What kind of trickery is going on in that bag? Judging by the comments that I got on my serve challenge video, it's clear that I'm not a professional. For the guys who watch this channel, stick around. Come on. I've got like a 99% male audience. I'm trying to kind of change that a little bit. So ladies, this one's for you. I love watching what's in my hospital bag, what's in my gym bag. Today is what's in my tennis bag. Let's start with the essentials. Number one, the racket. We'll start with the racket that I use daily, which is this Yonix here. It is a... know this. Yonex E-Zone 100L. I've got this cool damper here too that I got at the ATX Open. I like this racket. It's pretty lightweight but I also feel very powerful using this. And of course I've got my pink grip. I need to get some more. I'm all Yonix all the way baby. Racket number one. This is my backup Yonix. I've been playing with this Yonix for probably 15, 20 years now. It's pretty old but it does the job if I need a backup. I will probably be playing with Yonix for Forever. Balls, obviously. <laughs> Always have new balls in case I'm not just hitting around and I want to actually play. I'll have a good can of balls. And then, of course, my grips. Got this blue one here. Always have an extra grip just in case. Next, let's talk about accessories. So I always keep a little travel bag. In here, I have crunchy eye drops because, you know, you're playing outside. There are allergies. Now I carry tissues. I used to play with this guy. When the allergies are crazy, the wind is blowing. I'm constantly sniffling and he'd be like, do you need a tissue? And I'd be like, yes, please. He literally was like, I brought these for you. So now I will always have tissues in my bag. Next, sunscreen. This is Sun Bum. This is Neutrogena. I actually like this one better, but I'm almost out. There we go. Just an SPF 30 and this one's 70. I also have a bigger thing of sunscreen. It's sport, this is 50 for my body, but I use the smaller tubes for my face. Sunscreen always. Let's see, always have a little deodorant. You know, you play for hours, you can leave it a little smelly. I also have some wipes. I, I like to keep a headband. Purell, hand sanitizer. So many hair ties. I mean, hair ties are like socks in the dryer. You just never know where they go, but somehow they disappear, so gotta keep extra. Little mini Vaseline, how cute is this little thing? I have a tiny little bit of KT tape left and some other tape. I injured my Achilles back in March. Now when I play, I have to tape up my Achilles, so I will keep that in my bag so that I'm always prepared when I'm ready to go play. I keep a TINS machine in here. This is one of those machines that you hook up to whatever body part is ailing you and it, it sends shock waves and kind of massages, stimulates blood flow in the area. Got this off of Amazon. The brand is Belly Foo. So you basically just peel these pads off, stick them on your skin, and then you know connect it with the wires and start it up. That is a TENS machine. I carry a towel in here as well. Also got this at the ATX Open. I'm not plugging the ATX Open, but it kind of feels like I am. I got this towel, ATX Open 2023. When I was playing competitively, I had a little notebook in my bag with some pens or pencils. The night before a match, I would start visualizing how I wanted the match to go, things that I wanted to work on, follow through. I still carry around a little notebook and some colored pencils and I'll just kind of write fun stuff in there, some visualizations, some positive affirmations in here, but you know I try to keep it fun in here and light and very motivating for myself. Possibly the most important, a playlist. I've been listening to 90s pop, I think Britney Spears, Christina Aguilera, Spice Girls, something about that genre of music is so nostalgic for me and I just feel some type of way when I listen to that music. And also AirPods. Find what kind of music motivates you and puts you in a good mood. Put that on on your way to a tennis match. So another key thing, hydration. I have this water bottle, this water jug that I have been using since probably high school or something. Fill it up with ice and water and this thing stays cold. It stays cold all day. Along with hydration, I like these Propel electrolyte packs. I have to make sure I'm replenishing the right way. So I will sometimes pop them in my water. Gives it a nice flavor actually. Food, snacks. Also very important. Two of my favorite bars that I always have on me when I'm playing. Here's one brand, it's called Bobo's. They're really 
good. The main ingredient is oats, so they're made out of whole grain rolled oats. This is chocolate chip flavor, and then I also have a coconut flavor. Bobo, they're gluten-free, vegan, and non-GMO. The next bar that I have are Lara bars. Behind it, can you see? This is cherry pie flavor. This is blueberry muffin flavor. There are so few ingredients in this. Cashews, dates, apples, blueberries, and vanilla extract in this. They are no sugar added, plant-based, gluten-free, dairy-free, vegan. I mean, in the cherry pie one, dates, almonds, unsweetened cherries. Three ingredients, people. Let's talk clothes, hats, shoes, socks. Okay, so we'll start with hats just because they're right next to me. So I will either play in a little visor like this. I got this off of Amazon years ago. I got this bucket hat at the ATX Open, and I got this hat at the US Open. Occasionally, I'll play in this too. So I bought this new pair of shoes maybe a year ago or so. It's the Wilson Rush Pro shoes. I just, I need a lot of support. They're a nice height on the ankle, so I don't feel like at any point am I rolling my ankle. They're just like really solid, solid shoes. Maybe my favorite part of tennis is the fashion. So let me show you what I'm wearing. I got this outfit somewhat recently at Dick's Sporting Goods, but the brand is Prince. So it's this like really cute top and a matching skirt, pleated skirt. Since we're here, I thought I would show you some of my favorite tennis outfits. This one is the Halara Cloudful Everyday Dress. This is that same Prince outfit in purple. Isn't it pretty? A nice kind of cute pleated skirt too. And then I also got this one at Dick's Sporting Goods. I think the brand is FP Movement. Look at the back of this. It's like an open back, crisscrossy kind of thing. It's got these little cutouts here. Kind of reminds me of Venus Williams' early 2000s dress. So when I go to the tennis court and when I leave, I always change out of my tennis shoes and I put on a pair of slides and those slides are ufus. My podiatrist recommended them to me because they're really supportive. I should show you the bag itself, huh? So what I love about this is that I can also wear it as a backpack and I'm all about that. It's got Novak Djokovic's signature on there. What's up? Look real official. So this side is where I put my rackets and it's climate controlled inside. It's got a big center opening here. So you open this up and basically the entire center part of the bag opens up. It's got other little compartments in here as well. Okay. Let's flip this around. There is a little pouch here that you can put balls in and cans and stuff. So it, it's not very deep. It ends right here. So I've got my tennis balls in this one and my grips and stuff like that. Then we flip it around. This is where I keep all of my food stuff. There's also a little side pouch here for other stuff you need to grab quickly. There was a game where Iga Swiatek's phone was going off and it was in her bag, but she couldn't find where it was. So it just kept going off and she was like searching frantically trying to find her phone. So if I can find that video, I'll post it here too. It's actually your phone <laughs> that's ringing. That is so funny. <laughs> Who could possibly be calling at this time? <laughs> it's one of those. I oh, this is really funny. This is really good. Who are you calling? Me?